This week on Future Tech, the future of cars. Now, yeah, that's pretty awesome. But I think when you see what's coming from safety to performance to entertainment, you'll still be pretty impressed. We hit the road to get a sneak peek at how car makers envision the car of tomorrow. I'm here at Ford's Innovation Lab where they're figuring out the best way to adjust a seat. And I mean three different interfaces, including voice control, to work on a seat that can even give you a massage. Okay. See a command. Give me a massage. Oh, it totally is. This is awesome. <laughs> See a command. Recline seat backward. Oh, okay. See a command. Move seat back. See a command. Move seat all the way down. I want to be like, and then I can cruise. <laughs> The humble driver's seat is also getting reinvented in other ways. The next frontier in driving is real-time driver information. This seat is actually measuring my respiration. The steering wheel is measuring my heart rate, whether I'm at all sweaty. The car can tell whether I'm distracted and then actually take steps to minimize those distractions. So far, I seem to be doing okay. My heart beats per minute is 60, 19 breaths. The seat belt can tell if I start to breathe more heavily because I'm stressed out as a driver. Even if I don't think I'm stressed, the car will know. I can't wait to see what it does with my road rage. It has temperature sensors to see if I get hot in the face. Maybe in the future it could say like, sweetie, I think you're getting a cold, maybe you should go home. Engineers are also coming up with innovative ways to make sitting in your car more comfortable using geeky data-driven design. So what I'm doing here is measuring seat ergonomics. I have these motion capture sensors on me and I'm gonna to try to get into this very small little back seat of a car. Then Ford will use that data to make sort of a digital human version of me that can help in figuring out better design for back seats so that I don't stick my knees in the back of the driver every time. There I am. It's like a puppet. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like an airplane seat. This is why I try to never sit in the back seat of any car. <laughs> yeah. I look a lot more elegant as a digital human than I probably did as a real human. Probably the coolest thing about the car of the future will be that it can drive itself. Concepts are already in existence. Google has its self-driving car, and Stanford is racing an Audi TTS on a track, hands-free. But what you might not know is that incremental steps toward autonomous driving are also underway. At Ford, we talked to CTO Paul Mascarenas about the march of technology and the driving experience. We don't see that, you know, one day we're going to wake up and there's going to be an autonomous vehicle. We don't, we don't see that. What we absolutely do see, though, is increasing availability of uh, more connectivity in the vehicle, increasing availability of more automated driving features. For example, using onboard computers, sensors and cameras, the car is able to alert me when there's another car nearby, possibly preventing a collision. Yeah, we talk about, you, know, oh. you just got your little warning. I did it. I almost hit that car. Did, That's not did, true. I didn't <laughs> Did a great job there. <laughs> and I didn't even... I know. Good job, and car. I, and I didn't even jump out of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't very scary. Yeah. <laughs> GM is also developing similar technologies that will keep you in your lane if you start to drift. In this case, the actual seat alerts you with a little vibration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That actually, that's really smart. So it's the slow drift triggers it as opposed to something that feels kind of intentional. Right. You know, people make lane changes, um, evasive maneuvers. Mm -hmm. And so we try and only give them the warning when they really need it. It's kind of tricky then to try it out.
But my favorite demo of the day was rear automatic braking. In my opinion, this safety tech is the closest thing to autonomous driving because the car actually takes control. This is probably the first time we've ever had the car actually take control away from the driver. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I'm just kind of... Mm -hmm. Oh my God! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> and it's vibrating like crazy. Look how close it was. I was totally like prepared to hit the pole. I'm yeah. like, there's no way this is going to stop. <gasps> Can we do that again? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Even when it's off, that's amazing. That is remarkable. Does it mostly work with stationary objects? Like if that was actually a kid? It'll try to work with moving objects. Very helpful. One more time, um, it's just so, so cool. If you get... <laughs> <laughs> so. Now I'm hooked. And hooked might even be an understatement. I mean, whether it's having a car stop itself to prevent a crash, a seat that measures your heart rate, or a seat that gives me a massage, the car of the future is definitely one that I want to ride in.